Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make my favorite shrimp pasta salad. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. This recipe was actually given to me by my grandmother. Of course, I have taken a couple liberties with it because that's what I do, I can't help myself. But I am really excited to share this one with you, so let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing you need is your pasta. I highly recommend using elbow macaroni. You're going to need eight ounces, and we are going to cook that according to package instructions. First, I'm just going to bring a pot of salted water to a rolling boil. And then we'll add in that macaroni, give it a little stir, and cook it until it's al dente. So for this, it's gonna take about seven minutes. Once that's had enough time to cook, we're going to take it over to the sink where we will drain it and rinse it under cold water, which I am not going to be showing you on video because my sink is full of dishes right now. All right, this pasta has been rinsed and drained, so I'm just going to add it to a large mixing bowl. Next, we'll start prepping our veggies, starting with four celery stalks. We're just going to neatly chop these. and add this to the bowl with your pasta. Next, you'll need one half of a bell pepper. You can use either a green pepper or a red pepper. I'm using red just because I like the added color. Just cut that in half. You don't wanna put any seeds in there. Of course, you don't want that green stem. And then I'm just going to slice and chop this as well. I wanna have nice, small pieces. Finally, you'll need about one fourth of an onion. You can use a yellow onion, white onion, or sweet onion. A red onion would probably be fine just as well. Today I'm using a white onion. I'm just gonna dice this. We'll add this in our bowl as well. Next, you need your shrimp. You need cooked, peeled shrimp for this recipe, and you want to use small shrimp. I usually buy frozen salad shrimp from the grocery store. If you can only find large shrimp, of course, you can cook those yourself and you can just cut them into small bite-sized pieces. Now, if you're using frozen shrimp like I am, you do not want to drain it. In fact, I usually just add the shrimp frozen right into the macaroni salad. It'll thaw while it sits in the fridge and that usually works perfectly for me. This is two cups of shrimp that I'm using. All right, now every pasta salad needs a really good pasta salad dressing. So ours is a mayo-based dressing. We'll start with one cup of mayonnaise. Add two tablespoons of sour cream, two teaspoons of white vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar, three fourths teaspoon of celery seed. And a lot of the times I like to go a little extra heavy on this because I feel like my grandmother always does. One fourth teaspoon of ground mustard, and you'll also want salt and pepper to taste. I usually just do 1 4th teaspoon of ground black pepper, and that's usually plenty. And then for the salt, I find a heaping 1 4th teaspoon always works perfectly for me. We'll whisk everything together until this dressing is nice and smooth. And then grab your pasta. Make sure you toss this up before you add the dressing on. You want everything nicely mixed. And then we'll add that dressing right on top. And all that's left to do is toss everything together. Now this salad tastes best after it's had at least an hour, preferably more than that to sit in the fridge. So I am just going to cover it tightly and I'm going to pop it in the fridge where it'll sit for about one to three hours before I serve it. Once it's chilled, we can dig in and enjoy. And that is how you make my favorite shrimp pasta salad. I hope you guys enjoy this easy summer recipe. And if you try it out, please let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. This is good.